Hello guys and uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to uh, speak about XCAM. XCAM has been one of my uh, favourite softwares, most favourite, um, to edit maps with. So first and foremost uh, we'll start off by placing a unit. Uh, place down a unit, um, go into the systems or F5 if you want. Uh, XCAM will have a tab. Um, I will put all the links to the downloads in the description. All you want to do is you want to play this scenario after placing this down, just as long as you place the flag next to the person, or, you know, I think I don't know, it's entirely sure. So once you get a scroll menu of how, well, you get this first, but just close that, nothing's wrong with that. So all you do is you just scroll wheel, start X cam, and then middle mouse button. Close it and wait for it to load. The first time you start this you'll get a start thing and it'll say start the project or whatever, I can't remember what it says, but there's probably about 4,000 objects. It doesn't take too long, maybe about 5-10 minutes. So first and foremost, before we start, obviously I've got Australia buildings because I do other maps. Um, so what you want to do is start off by creating a new project, calling it just for the sake of it, we'll call it YouTube for now. Um, once you've created the project, you're free to do whatever you need. If you need, for example, to move your, your guy to another position, all you need to do is put your, your cursor where you want him and press insert. That'll move him to a position where you, uh, you know, if you built something and you want to run around. So what you want to do now is you want to pick through the many objects you can use this sorry system. I don't know. I haven't played this in a while. It's changed a little. Uh, so you want to search through the um, say I don't know. We we'll, we'll, we'll want a wall for some reason. It'll take me out of the map for some odd reason. Uh, there is six thousand three hundred and four objects. Um, so you've got land, barriers, so on and so on. Let's just go for a city wall for example. So if you were to build a, a square you can obviously get rid of that. Now um, you rotate with shift and your mouse. You can use your scroll wheel but it'll do that. Um, you can then place it and I think it's control to move it up and down. So if for, for desire you could move it up there or just like down there and up there. Um, so once you're happy with your placement, and I've got OCD so I don't like things that are not straight, uh, all you need to do is press Q. You can change the direction, so if you want the direction that way for whatever reason, it's up to you. Uh, keep pressing it, it'll go west. All you do is press C, and then you could do enter, and that's our spacebar. And that'll just leave that object there. If it doesn't, if you want more, you can place them more and you can do it all day long. So that's that. Let's just uh, also remember to save your project before leaving the um, leaving the map. Don't want to do that. So I've got some um, different things I've built for other communities or just generally for me. Um, ignore that one. Um, where is I've lost it. Um, there it is. Steam Square. So Steam Square is already built. Uh, it's preloaded into the map. It's eighty-one objects. Um, I put in grass cutters, which are to hide the grass in the square, so it's a bit more tidy. Dog barking outside. Um, so once you've you're happy with your project, all you need to do is go load, which is this button here. Um, the yeah, this one here, this file. Now you can do two ways. If you want to say, for example, hide your um, mission edits, you can do a life side uh, mission edit, but it's difficult to find the script out there. I don't know why. Uh, so you can press that, and it'll load up this. Or you can do the mission file way. So what I've ended up doing is. Uh, we don't want it, we don't want anything to crash into it. I've got lights in here, so I will leave it to true and press OK. 
it'll do a small um, mission file created. Your mission file will go in. So all you need to do is go into the editor, return to editor, which will take a moment. We don't need that flag anymore. Uh, then we need, uh, there you go, YouTube has been imported here. So all you need to do is import, because it's a 2D map edit at the time. Uh, yeah, it's fine, it'll do a backup so you'll see it in your folder. You can always remove that back if you wish. Now, it has been placed. Things may look a bit weird because the way that Eden's done it. There's no need to correct it because they've already got a position saved. And as you can see, hang on one moment. As you can see, um, it damaged false and uh, simulation true. So once you've placed that, you can obviously save it. For example, that you want to merge it into a mission. Let me see if we've got any missions that are spare. Uh, let's put it into the Rebel Checkpoint one, for example. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go into Merge. Uh, we want to go into Rebel Checkpoint and merge it into there. And now, on the map, will be that Rebel Checkpoint that I built ages ago. So obviously you can go into the mission, look at how, the, if you're not happy, go back into Xcount, change it to your liking. Uh, if you need any help with anything, give me a shout or a uh, message in the comments. I'm sure I'll be happy to help. As you can see, no grass is really kicking around here. And it's kind of a nice square. I mean, it's I've used it a few times in different other servers. Um, a fairly straightforward thing to use and it may have taken about 50 hours for me to kind of learn the basics but once you get into it you'll understand and I mean it's a great 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 uh, bit of software well guys thanks for watching if you need any help with anything leave a message in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible uh, remember to like and subscribe and have a good day